Welcome back to Boss Man Sports Cards. It's a game day Wednesday. I'm excited. Gina and I went around. We did a Northwest trip. And one of the stops, Everett, Washington. The Aqua Sox. The Mariners High A Squad. Yes, this is not their normal hat. These are the Conquistadors. Frogs. <laughs> Check out some of the highlights of what we got to see. It was a rainy day. It might be short. All right, check it so out. So we got to the stadium, Funko Field, in time for game two. As we enter the stadium, we notice a kids section over to the right with uh, bounce houses. That's kind of cool, even on a rainy day. Over on the left is the uh, football and soccer stadium for the Everett um, School District. So this is the North Clinic Playfield for Seattle's Children's Hospital uh, Research and Foundation. So that's pretty cool. Okay, let's move on up towards the stadium. We got the frog shop ahead. So yeah, that's the entrance to uh, to the football stadium for the school district. The frog shop at Funko Field. All right. Now, over here, they got a little placard. Talks about the brief history of Everett Memorial Baseball Stadium from 1947 all the way through to the present. The fan information booth. They got a cool little spin wheel for the kids to play on. Uh, let's check it out. Funko Field. Yeah, it, it's kind of kind of rainy. I mean, yesterday's game was rained out, and that's why it was a double header today. Kind of glad that it was because we were able to get there. Ah, oh, those kids, they're excited. That's pretty cool. What is exactly on that spin wheel? Let's take a quicker and closer look. Candy, lanyards, bubbles. Okay, a Funko poster. Nice. Baseball bracelet. Cool. All right. Funko Field. Yes, Funko Pops. Didn't know they were from Everett. Now, Everett Memorial Stadium baseball field replacement public schools and that's who was there for the dedication now some of the aqua Sox we saw with modesto we saw james parker we saw trent tinglestad we saw spencer packard alberto rodriguez yes and the visitors hey San Jose Giants, we got to see Hunter Bishop. We Patrick got to Bailey see here. Patrick Jason Bailey. Schmidt. Some of the other Bishop. names, we've seen them. We Bailey saw them before. <laughs> Gene is wearing her nuts hat. You know, yes, the Aqua Sox are the high A for the Mariners, and the nuts are the low A. Here's the high A standings. Pretty good. All right, Mariners and Aqua Sox, proud partners. They got some banners of... Uh, MVPs and all stars of the past. Catel Marte, yep, 2015 MILB All Star. Okay, Mike Zunino, he's up with the ball club now. And Weebly, the mascot. Kind of cool, kind of creepy, but you know what? It's an Aquasock frog. All right, so here's the stadium. It was only 84 when we left. Nice playing field. Yes. We're going to have to go up and check it out again when things are a bit drier, I guess. But, I mean, it is uh, Everett, Washington. <laughs> you just heard me say we started this trip at 4 o'clock in the morning. So we did not exactly stick around as much as we could have or should have. But we will definitely be back to Everett. All right, back to the cards. So, yeah. Uh, it was a rainy day. It's Washington, after all. Um, Everett, Washington, Mariners, low or high A, uh, the Aqua Sox. So down in Modesto, we get to see the low A guys. Um, in fact, some of the guys that we saw up there at Everett, we had seen last year with the Nuts. So that was pretty cool. Um, in our travels, we got to see a lot of guys that we got to see last year. Uh, we actually saw the Aqua Sox twice. You'll see them again when they're in Hillsboro when we go see the hops. Um, but we got to get some cards 
And uh, yeah, remember when you're going around some of these stadiums, if you don't know the stadium, sometimes they don't actually have the cards out and available. I think in Tri-City, they had them behind the counter in a, a drawer. Ask. Ask if you're interested in cards. Well, one of the other things that we got while we were in Everett, pretty cool. So you saw that the stadium is called Funko Field. Yes, Funko Pops. Hey, guess what? I didn't know this. Funko is, those are distributed, is out of Everett. It's out of Everett. So there you go. Weebly. <laughs> He's got his own line of Funkos. You're going to see some more when we're talking about our Traveling Tuesday episodes when we go to some shops. But Weebly, this one that we got, this is the Catcher edition. I don't know how many editions there are of Weebly. This is number 10. <laughs> I, I don't know. I thought it was funny. I liked it. Had to get it. Um, but like I said, they didn't, they, they got multiple years of cards. These are 2011. So I think I got 11, 13, 17, and 21. Let's see if there were any future Mariners or traded um, stars in here. This is 2011. Steinman was the coach or the manager. Um, I'm just going to go through. I'm looking for names. Anything that pops up that I notice, I will stop and take a look. Um... Do, 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 do. So 2011 Aqua Sox so far, uh, no big names. Nolan Diaz, I, I want to say I remember that name. Um, so those are the, the Everett uniforms, the old uh, royal blue and gold or yellow. Nice. Okay, nobody really there. That's what their usual uh, uniforms look like. So they do specialty uh, uniforms all the time. Let's see if we can find some different ones. Sometimes they do like pink. I think that's actually one of the Weeblies also is a pink uniform for breast cancer awareness. Um, I don't think they were doing the, the Hispanic uniforms yet in 2011. So let's go through and let's look to see what they had in 2013. Yep, 2013. These are a little bit bricked. Not too bad, but enough to be annoying. I mean, they are, what, nine years old? And not the, I'm not going to say they're bad quality. They're just not the top of the top. They are, you know, minor league cards. But we have fun with it. I like going around asking for cards at the stadiums. Um... Stockton, they didn't have any until the National Card Giveaway Day. Oh, yeah. International Trading Card Day. Guess what that day that is? August 6th. It's coming up. Now, why is that big to me? It's almost like they know me or something, but my birthday is International Card Trading Day. Isn't that great? I think that's great. Fantastic. We are looking for some names um, that we recognize. Remember, all these guys are good enough to play minor league baseball. That means that they're still up in like the top 4% of all baseball players in the world. So if I say, you know, I don't recognize anybody, that's not an insult. Um got two dormans all right um that's just i don't recognize the name Ooh. <laughs> win a trip to the 2013 whoops and justin seeger okay i wonder if that's any relation to kyle uh brothers of mariners third baseman kyle seeger and third uh brother to be taken in the mlb draft Okay, so yeah, Seeger boy. All right, this is 2017. Um, hmm, trying to think who 
might have been with Everett in 2017, and that did not work out so well. <laughs> ah, gonna get it, I promise. Ah, uh, so what do you think? Game day Wednesdays. Uh, you know, it was rainy there. The stadium's nice. I mean, I tried to do a little bit of a wrap up on it. Um, fun owned by the school district. Not bad. Not bad. Uh, all right. What do we got? Camacho. Um, yeah. Have you been to, to minor league games? What's some fun stuff that you've seen? Uh, this was actually a double header. We just got there late because it had rained out the night before. So they played it the next day. It was still raining as you guys saw, but I mean, it's, it's Washington. If you don't play in some rain, you're not playing. <laughs> uh, Evan white. There we go. Evan white there. And if you notice a lot of the pitching coaches and managers, they're all different. Um, they don't usually stick around for too long. They either move up in the the system or they move on. Um, and as you can see from Adams, you got the pink socks hat. Sorry, I didn't point out the different jerseys. Everett with the stripes like the old Astros. They actually had that jersey there. I, I was very tempted. The Frogs. I think Weebly has a Frogs jersey. I think we actually got it. I'll have to double check. You'll see. All right. Last year, 2021. So these guys most likely are now either in Arkansas um, or Tacoma. I think Tacoma. I think that's their, their uh, ladder of getting to the league. Let's see. 2021. Who do we got for Everett? Julio Rodriguez, there you go. Yes, he has moved up the ranks very quickly. The Aqua Sox with the uh, Aqua jersey there. Okay. Uh, anybody I recognize from the nuts? I think Matt Brash. Nope. Yeah, I've been doing a lot of research on him, so some of the names start to blend in with each other. Isaiah Campbell, I know he was with Modesto. Apparently not in 2021. Apparently these cards only give you the 2021 stat. But I know he was with Modesto cuz he's actually in the uh Heritage 2021 set wearing a Modesto Nuts jersey. So there you go. All right, Jared Bayless. I want to say that name sounds familiar. George Kirby, he's been bouncing back and forth. There we go. All right. Let's see. Oh, they do give more than one. So Modesto for Kolick. Um, Modesto for Ellingson. A little bit of Modesto. Wow. Connor Hoover. He was everywhere in 2019. He moved up the ranks. There you go. All right. Dollard. I swear you 2020 or 2021 because we got him in uh, either pro debut or heritage in a nuts uniform. But there you go. Okay. We got Julio. We got Evan White. These aren't all the back to back years. It's 11, 13, 17, 21. I hope to go back and get some more. Um, when we talk next, it'll be next week, uh, game-wise, game day Wednesday, uh, we'll talk about a little thing that's on Facebook about different ballparks, a passport. I should have more information by then. I hope to see you then. I hope to have more fun at games. I hope you do as well. Boss Man here, Boss Man Sports Tards. Game day Wednesday, go check out some minor league games. Boss man, out.